It's alright. Yo guys, what is up? Max Renault Borderlands 3 video and today we are talking about the Amara damage guide. This video will go over how to output the most damage when bossing against single targets on Amara. This is not a build video. This is basically tips and tricks to output the most damage on Amara because Amara generally struggles with single target boss damage. Now, I put out a guide on Moe's for damage and that was some of the most positive feedback I've received on a video. So one, I want to thank you guys for the positive feedback. It inspires me to make videos like this. And we're going to be doing a Zane build or Zane guide and a flat guide. So thank you guys for the positive feedback. Amara for this guide is going to be a little different than Moe's, for example, because Amara is much more specific in the skills that you need to spec and the loadout that you need to use versus something like Moe's who can basically just use any weapon with 390 and short fuse to one shot anything. Um, so Amara is gonna be way more specific, but I hope this video helps you. We're gonna start by looking at two scenarios. One where I um, basically one shot or get all the way through an enemy's health phase. And then a scenario where I mess up and completely ruin all of my damage and we'll see if you guys can notice the difference and pick off why using the same setup uh one did way more damage and then we'll discuss and break down everything you guys need to know if you guys do enjoy the video be sure to drop a like comment and subscribe and with that guys let's get right into it All right, guys, let's talk about what caused such a big difference in damage when using the exact same gear, doing basically the exact same thing, and one getting Psycho Creek all the way down and one hardly doing any damage. If you already know, if you picked out the difference, good for you. We got a lot to talk about, though, um, and there's a lot of things we're going to explain here. But the reason that did more damage on the second try is simply speed. Uh, the biggest thing between a one shot on Amara and not doing much damage is movement speed. It is the most important thing and is the biggest things. Uh, the biggest thing I see people messing up or not understanding is just how impactful her movement speed is with driver. On that first one, you saw me, one, I wasn't moving that fast, my turnaround when I threw the shot out at Krieg wasn't great. I wasn't at max movement speed there. And I got like a little bumped, which allowed me to lose some movement speed when the white elephants exploded. And that destroyed my damage when I was able to get a better turnaround and keep my momentum up and shoot and then continue my, my, my momentum when the white elephants went off. You can see that there was way more damage. And this is something that just takes practice doing on Amara, keeping up your movement speed for your shots and continuing your movement speed. There are certain arenas and bosses that this is particularly difficult to do, such as Wendigo. It's a very difficult one to, to get this movement speed on. Uh, I typically wait till Wendigo is like up on its top like rock perch so that's standing still and I can use my movement speed. But movement speed on Amara is very important. Now, Amara's highest damage setup regardless of what weapon you want to use uh whether it be the face puncher the back burner the sand hawk is simply always going to be driver elemental projector you cannot match this damage with any other uh, amara based class mod artifact combo the driver is going to give amara movement speed because it's going to proc a dot on her that dot is going to give you stacks of mindfulness because you're going to be taking damage. The mindfulness is going to give us movement speed. This movement speed off of Amara's speed scaling formula at max movement speed with 25 stacks of mindfulness, six out of three uh, points into mindfulness is going to give us 300% 
increased damage. Now, this damage is going to be important for when we shoot our initial shot with the face puncher because today we're mainly going to be talking about uh, face puncher white elephant. Now, um, Amara struggles to keep up with damage with the other characters using guns with the face puncher. Not so much. Um, she could do some pretty good things with the face puncher. And so uh, as much as I would like to talk about doing like Sandhawk kills, it's just simply easier to do it with the face puncher. I know it's not everyone's favorite gun, but face puncher 390 with the driver is going to give us a ton of movement speed and a ton of damage. And the best thing about the driver is it's going to proc a dot on us. That dot allows us to take effect or take use out of the elemental projector artifact. The elemental projector artifact is going to give us an elemental damage boost based on the dot that was impacted on us or inflicted on us. And with the driver, you're going to want to match the element that your action skill is attuned to, to the enemy type that you're facing. So facing Grave Ward, fire. Facing... Um, Psycho Reaver, fire, facing Wotan, corrosive. Um, make sure you're matching. Now, whatever element the white elephant spews out, it could be a mix of them. You want to be boosting the element that's going to do the most damage to whatever target you're shooting at. And you want to keep up that movement speed for your kill. Now, um, practicing this movement speed and keeping it is something that just takes a little bit of time and practice. But if you get used to it and get the hang of keeping up that movement speed, you'll have no problem hitting for over a billion damage with this setup. Now, Amara isn't like Moe's in that Moe's has trump skills, uh, or like Zane has commitment, Moe's has um, short fuse. Amara doesn't have a like one skill trumps all, easy peasy, put a point there, you win. It's much more difficult and it's much more build reliant um, as well as gear reliant. And so, Unlike the Moe's video where we didn't talk about gear really at all or skill points, uh, I am going to brush over some skill points. Now, this is not a build video, but if you do want to do really good bossing damage as Amara, uh, I'll have the skill tree so you guys can copy it. And uh, purple tree is not needed here. Uh, if you do not want to use purple tree or you do not own DLC 5 to get purple tree, um, these points are not super necessary. Um, if you want to get more damage, Without Purple Tree, you can go down to Conflux, which is okay, not super necessary. I'd probably spend the rest of the points into the green tree. Um, but for our skill tree, we're mainly specking out to spread out our damage formula between all the things that boost the damage on this kill. Now, we have melee damage, splash damage, elemental damage, gun damage, um, and crit damage. Those are all ways to boost the damage of these white elephants. And part of the reason they're so good is because there's so many different ways to scale them. We are specking into elemental damage, melee damage, crit damage, V2 damage increase, gun damage, melee damage, splash damage, splash damage, uh, movement speed based damage, and then more melee damage. Um, spreading out our sources of damage is going to be very strong and we're basically picking up all the best skills that we can here. Um, skills like No Mistakes in Nature are going to proc off of the driver effect, the dot that we impact on our, or uh, inflict on ourselves. I keep saying impact. I don't know why. Uh, heavy Rain, Splash Damage, good for us. Transcend Avatar is one of the most important things to use when playing a damage dealing single target focused Mara build. I've never been able to get away from it. I've been playing Mara for a very long time and it is so important to one hit the boss that you're trying to kill with laid bear to proc this damage increase and two to use your action skill twice that is the biggest reason that we respect all the way down to avatar because like what's remnant gonna do for me um but transcend double stacked with avatar because it's gonna give us two uses of our action skill that's going to give us two things of transcend if we land our face puncher shot and we hit crits those face puncher based white elephants can crit the face puncher's original shot will not but that 54 percent critical hit damage is our only area of getting increased critical hit damage and it's going to be very impactful for us now gun damage is still uh important for the face puncher it's not as important but it is going to help with your damage that's why i respect into wrath and then, yeah, there's not that much else to um, to talk about here. Uh, don't use um, if don't use expedite 
here. Uh, that's not going to do anything for you. And make sure that you're using healing so that you don't uh, do too much damage with your action skill. Because you don't want to do too much damage with your action skill when you're shooting things. Because you can lose the 390 proc before you even shoot. Uh, just something to note. Now, in terms of doing uh, this face puncher kill, speed is king. Absolutely speed. Um, but... Another thing to break down how it actually works is this 390 is very important. Now, 390 is a bad choice if we weren't using white elephants. 390 doesn't work very well with multi-pellet weapons if you don't know what I'm talking about. Basically, if I was using a Hellwalker and Hellwalker has 10 pellets, I was using it with 390. If one of those pellets does enough damage to get the enemy's health bar past 90%, only one pellet will get 390 and all the other pellets will not will be unanointed now it's still strong on weapons like the hellwalker because that one pellet getting 400 percent increased damage can still one shot a lot of things but it's not typically the best anoint. now the same logic applies with the face puncher if we were just using it with the face puncher and nothing else however we are using the face puncher with the white elephants and the white elephants are going to scale off of the initial damage that we do the more damage that we can put out on our first shot um, the more damage that those white elephants are going to do. Um, you can use things like U-Red. You can use things like 200 melee damage uh, or like 200 face slam melee damage are all strong options. But I personally have found that 390 puts in the most work for me because it's going to give those white elephants so much damage. It's going to proc um, a ton of damage on our groundbreaker, which Groundbreaker is nice. Groundbreaker is very nice to have. This is, if you do not have Groundbreaker, you're still going to be able to put out a lot of damage, but just not as much. This Groundbreaker is going to proc from the status effect that is in, uh, inflicted on us. I almost said impacted again. Uh, from the status effect that is inflicted on us when we're taking damage, it's going to give us Groundbreaker. That Groundbreaker is going to get 390. That 390 is going to uh, give our white elephants more damage, and then our white elephants are going to hit like trucks. Um, in terms of also gear, I am using a level one brawler's ward. I just want this 300 melee damage while shield is depleted. Things like for melee builds, uh, the stinger has while full melee damage increased by 50%. This is like an amp melee damage. It's really strong and very, very good, but we have a dot on us and because we're dotted, our shield won't be full and we need to use the elemental predictor. So I use a level one brawler's ward. A grenade can be whatever. I'm not throwing my grenade. I just need an ASC on it. You need ASCs on your shield and grenade so that you can get 25 stacks of mindfulness. If you don't have 25 stacks of mindfulness, um, you're not using ASCs and you may be using fake grasp. Do not fake grasp anymore. No more fake grasping on bosses. Say it with me. You are not allowed to grasp bosses because it'll use your it'll use your grasp. If you grasp Tron, not only will it use your grasp and take away your action skill, but it won't give you your anointments. So. Uh, if you are having trouble bossing and you're using phase grasp and you're grasping an, an enemy and they're grasp immune, you are not going to get your anointments, you're not going to get any damage, and you're going to lose your cooldown. So, for bossing, I have pretty much permanently switched to phase cast unless the boss has enemies around them, such as like Wotan, who you can kill with split, uh, linking the top and the bottom half. For the most part, do not use Grasp on bosses anymore uh, until it gets fixed. And if it does get fixed, you'll hear about it here first. But just letting you guys know, uh, Phase Cast or Phase Slam is the way to go. Um, and that's kind of it for the video, guys. Um, this setup, if you want to use Phase Flare, we can talk about that real quick. Um, phase Flare, the easiest way to get damage. Now, I'm not saying this is the best way because Light Fantastic is very, very strong for mobbing, but for just a simple boss kill, hold a stinger, uh, or sorry, not a stinger, uh, Brawler's Ward or stinger honestly works fine. Uh, Psycho Stabber with 390 melee damage, 340 melee damage on that. Uh, pull out ball, bring ball back, punch it, punch it, and then uh, uh, send it. And, uh, you're good. <laughs> uh, phase Flare is, is probably the easiest way. Uh, and, and if you have the skill tree for Phase Flare, a uh, super easy way to do a crazy amount of damage. But I didn't really want to talk about Phase Flare because we're not going to be talking about Clone with uh, Zane. I didn't talk about Iron Bear with Moe's. Um, I just... I. 
it, it's it's a very easy way to do damage but i wasn't i didn't really want to focus on it um but yeah guys that is it for the video let me know which vault hunter you want to see next i got some really cool stuff to share for flak and zane um so let me know which one you want to see next if there are any uh questions or confusions that you have and it's I, unfortunately a lot easier for me to answer them over on my twitch channel so uh twitch.tv slash moxie uh if you got any like uh super specific confusions and need a long-winded expl explanation more than happy to do so twitch.tv slash moxie i'll catch you guys in the next one take care peace I was